What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. The We've got some new exclusive ESBC gameplay. The content creators were given it by the developers, which we're extremely lucky to. And I've been out. Finally, I'm like an half an hour, 40 minutes behind everyone. But I'm going to react to it live here. I can do breakdowns, stuff like that. And yeah, if you guys want me to post it without my face cam in it, let me know. But for now, we're just going to do this. So Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano. Let's have a little look. Of course, I have played it. But this is relatively, what from what we heard, this is the build that we played. As you can see, Joe Lewis is hurt right there as well. Uh, but Rocky's stamina isn't up, which is interesting. Because normally Rocky's stamina should be flashing in some form of adrenaline to uh, be able to push the pace there. Uh, but he's not. Oh, perfect body shot there to push him back. That's what I was talking about, guys, with the with the push when you, you stun someone with a body. But it doesn't have to rock them or drop them. Perfect counter there by uh, by Rocky and Joe Lewis. There, nice body shot. Oh, tagged him with that. There you go. That's what I was talking about. The adrenaline there. You can see Joe Lewis with the adrenaline there uh, when he when he tags him here. You'll see down that bottom left, adrenaline pops up there as Rocky gets hurt. But then the adrenaline isn't there the whole time, and Rocky returns with the adrenaline of his own. This makes me miss the game, man. It really does. This makes me miss. This is oh, lovely. They shoot the clinch as well. Lovely. Love to see it. You love to see it. And he nicely grabs in that clinch and just holds it. That's brilliant. Yeah, I love seeing that. Round four at this point. Not many cuts so far, which is nice. You know, there's like a lot of cuts, but we're seeing more fluid gameplay here, like an actual fight. You can see Joe Lewis's head is hurt on that right side. Rocky Marciano's body is pretty tagged up as well. Getting caught with those big hooks as he um, as he's hurt. Round six, you can see though, I mean, Rocky's stamina's down a lot. Joe Lewis's really isn't, but that's because Rocky's been eating those body shots like a trooper. So you can see the difference there in that stamina. And then we, oh, nice. We cut to Kelbrook and Arturo Gatti uh, in... This is, looks like it's going to be a bit of a slower pace, perhaps. No? Okay, I was hoping for a bit more J Kelbrook jab fest, to be honest with you. That's what I was hoping for from this gameplay. Uh, but still, look nice. Early first. As you can see, sometimes the first rounds can start off quick. Sometimes they can start off a bit slow. The counters are nice. The shots are nice. You can make an opponent miss so well. It's really, really clean. You guys can hear the crowd in the background as well. Oh, nice body. Oh, throwing those body shots. Really sinking those body shots down. Kenny Baylor's there in the background. Yeah, man, this makes me miss playing it for sure. Ah, one thing I think they might have fixed, actually. You know, they said it's the same build, but I don't ever remember seeing a stamina drop like this where Gatties is dropping here. No matter how, what we threw, I don't remember seeing a stamina drop like that. So it's pretty interesting to me. So make sure everything's recording quickly. Yeah, yeah, we're all good. We're all good. And then we cut to Ben. Ah, Ben was one of my favourites. He had a pretty weak body. But uh, he was pretty solid. Oh, nice, sl nice slip encounter there. You can see the the fluidity of the gameplay compared to recent stuff, like what what they've done and what they've achieved, is is absolutely stunning. Uh, this is, you know, obviously, I think even this looks far better than the, the gameplay we saw in February, in my opinion. I think this looks a lot better. Uh, I, I definitely prefer it. I just, I mean, I know I've played this build, but just in general, it looks so much nicer. Being able to see it again, it's really refreshed my memory of like, wow, like Gatti and Ben and, and Brooke and Joe Lewis all looked just incredible. They really did. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it there, but when your stamina goes completely down, your bar actually does go red. You'll see Gatti's bar go red here when he's not actually hurt. It's just his stamina flashes red there. So it's kind of an indication for you to be like, yo, kind of chill the fuck out, like slow down. Don't be getting caught like that. But yeah, it looks good, man. I miss it. I really do. It looks absolutely incredible. That's what, I mean, it's difficult because I've obviously played it, so the reaction's not going to be as shocking, but the gameplay is still absolutely stunning. And I'm going to be doing breakdowns and stuff for you guys as well. And, um, looked like Ben maybe had just been leaving loose movement at that point. Nice little step jab there. And then we cut... Ooh, Plant and, and uh, Carl Froch. Nice. I like Plant a lot. His shell was really nice. He's in... Um, He's in loose movement there. That's how he's able to achieve that, by the way, for those that wonder. This, not even that arm out bit, just just this little, the way he steps differently. It's because he's in loose movement. You can see down the bottom left, his little icon's in loose movement. But you can take more damage in loose movement, but you are harder to hit. You see him moving around. That's what I was talking about, man. The way you see, takes more damage, though. That wasn't even a big shot, but because he was in that loose movement, he, bang, on the inside, just that little uppercut on the inside. That does damage when you're in that loose movement. You've got to be careful not to get caught like that. You really do. Absolutely incredible gameplay. They really do plant dirty when they do this. They always make plant miss like a good one. But you can see Frotch's... The thing here we're seeing here is Plant's middle of his body's been tagged up a lot, but his stamina's not affected. The side of Frotch's body's been tagged up, but his stamina has been affected. Oh, and the flash knockdown. You guys finally got to see one. You guys finally got to see. Perfect counter straight there. Nice. They've done a good job with this gameplay, man. This is really clean. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of what they've done here. Boom. Oh, get his hurt. Get his hurt. Boom. Brooks pushed, putting the pressure on him. Getting tagged back, though. Brooks in his own loose movement here. But you see, it's not as uh, 
You see his loose movement isn't as, say, cocky as plants. It's, uh, it's still, like, loose, but it's strict. And see, people were saying, I don't think about the loose movement doing more damage. Look at this. Not hurt. To second round, loose movement. He walks into the loose movement jab. Bang. Stuns him. But it's, 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 that, it's that risk reward when you're in that loose movement. It's in that. Oh, goes under it. Nice. Oh, he's got the manual blocking on. That looks like the six points of blocking there. Nice. Good stuff. Nice, nice. Sorry, guys. The dog's barking. Oh, tagged him with that one. Oh, oh, is he going to get him down? He might get him down here. You guys might see Gatty go down. Bink to the body. Oh, if he had tagged him to the body, they would have gone down. Bang. Oh, God. The way that you can just sidestep an uppercut and sidestep and catch people as they're sidestepping. There's so much usefulness to it. And that's it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It looks really good. I'm going to be doing a breakdown of it, but I thought I'd do my live reaction just because I can talk about it a little bit as, as if I played there. But like this little end sequence here, the way they're like moving and he's like, as he's trying, as Gat is trying to step to the side, you can really get them to lean into them hooks. Uh, it's really clean, man. It's really nice. Bang, bang, jab, jab. Oof, step. Gatty tries to step and still gets caught with that uppercut. Oof. Ooh, that's a nasty combo they put together at the end. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you have, drop a like, subscribe. And like I said, I'll be doing breakdowns and stuff like that with this gameplay. Very, very exciting stuff that they've shown here. And, uh, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.